Hey friends, it's Carol Saltbox Stitcher back for video number 50. Woohoo! 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 <laughs> Three years and I finally hit 50 videos. I, I don't think I'm very prolific. <laughs> I try. Anyway, uh, welcome. If you're a new subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you're an oldie but goodie, thanks for continuing to watch my rambling. So, Today is July 24th and this one is, this video is going to be primarily 99% about stitching and hopefully <laughs> for the sake of my husband and my sanity, it is only going to be a, well, let's just say it this way. It's not going to be an hour and a half. If it is, I'm talking really slow. I'm going to show you what I've been working on. I'm going to show you a few things I got for haul and some of my fall stitching plans. I know a lot of people do Christmas in July. I, I, it's not in me. <laughs> I have a hard time stitching out of season. Now I know a lot of people do Christmas in July. I prefer to stitch maybe a month or two prior to the season. So in other words, I'm starting to get an inkling of wanting to stitch fall. So that's what I'm gonna show you. Plus with cross stitch, you know, it can take you a while to finish things. And so consequently, you're better off to start early. So I do reserve September for sampler stitching, although I stitch samplers all during the year. But anyway, um, that's my plan. <laughs> we'll see if I stick to it. Oh, at the end, I do have a couple wool pieces. I won't have any quilting. I have been doing quilting. I have some applique I've been doing, but I'm, for the sake of making this a shorter video, I'm going to um, not include that. So maybe next time. We'll see. So what have I been stitching? Well, the first thing I'm going to show you is something that I worked on couple weeks back but with my blackbird quilt along video where I showed you a lot of the blackbird quilt books which I have been told third time around third from mouth to mouth to mouth or whatever that um, Alma is going to be releasing more older books re-releasing or reprinting and um, I know Kitten Stitcher, if you go to her website, and also Victorian Rose Needle Arts, both of those do have quite a few things that are um, re reprinted. So there's some things that you can um, stitch that you thought were out of print. So that's exciting. Same with quilt books. Also, Blackbird is releasing a line of fabric to come out, I think, somewhere end of February, somewhere in that February range. From Moda, a lot of it is um, some of their sampler prints that they're going to be re reprinting. So if you're not a quilter, but you love project bags or you want some of the sampler f fabric to finish on your um, smalls, then I would recommend um, going to either Kitten Stitcher or Victorian Rose Needle Arts. I'm sure Fat Quarter Shop is also, I haven't checked them, but I think they're probably also taking some pre-orders. So get your, um, Get your request in because cross stitch and quilting are two different animals when it comes to um, what you can get. So in other words, let's say Fox and Rabbit, which by the way, you got to watch their videos. They're very good. Um, Fox and Rabbit might release a certain color. And if you buy it and you decide six months later, you want some more of it chances are they're re-dyeing it again, that same color. Not so in quilt fabric. Quilt fabric is like fashions. It's like you go into a store, you buy an item and a year later you decide, oh, I think I want another one of those shirts. It's not gonna happen because they have runs, they call them runs of fabric lines and once they are gone, they're gone for the most part. Now, there might be shops out there that have purchased it and they might still have stock. So that's why sometimes you can still find some Blackbird fabric out there. But my point is, if you're interested in Blackbird fabric, it'll be coming out in February. Go to one of these places I've named because they are taking pre-orders and you can, um, even if you're just gonna back your smalls, I would get a layer cake. They're 10 by 10 squares. 
See, I told you I wasn't going to talk quilting. <sighs> Somebody help me. Anywho, that was all about the books they're reprinting. So don't go paying $900. There's a site that somewhere that somebody showed me that one of the Blackbird books is $959. Give me a break. That's craziness. That's what I would call highway robbery. <laughs> okay. I'm going to talk about Blackbird again, but for now, at the beginning, I'm going to talk about what I've been stitching, which does include some Blackbird. But a couple of weeks ago, because of my long videos, I did not show my progress on Mary Good. And by the way, for all of the, you that made a comment about how my camera angle was off last time, let me just say, hopefully this is correcting it this time. But the other thing is, we watch, my husband and myself, we watch all of the videos prior to the ever getting uploaded. When I first watched it, I was like, can't see some of what I'm showing. That's why we inserted the pictures of different things. Now, when it got to the frame pieces, I, I didn't want to insert another picture of everyone. That's a lot more work on my husband to put them in. But rest assured, what you saw was better than none at all, I guess. I don't know, maybe disagree. But it's also something we were aware of, totally aware of. Um, some people were nicer about other than others about, you know, I can't see what you're showing. I know. Anyway, um, hopefully this is better. If I went through the gyrations of why the camera angle was off, you, it would be too technical. So I won't go into all that. But anyway, hopefully this is satisfactory. Oops. So anyway... This is Mary Good, 1827. This is only available from Sassy Jacks. Sassafras Samplers is Kim's reproduction line. So, here is my progress. And I hope to get back to this soon. So, I have... Let me just get closer. I have Adam and Eve done. I have all the border flowers done. There's no over one on this, so I have all of the verse done. So, I hope to get back to this soon. You know, when I first did this, I thought, this is so much pink, I just don't know. But you know, once you add all the red and the greens, it's really, it's it's not as, it doesn't scream pink as much as you might think it does, or that it would. And for the, that sampler, I'm using a Verisua. And it's, it's a pretty Pepto pink. But there's some beautiful greens, reds, etc. So, hopefully I can get back to that before September, sampler September, and get that um, finished. Um, as far as housekeeping, I was going to mention two other things, and I set that on top of it. Quite a few people uh, reached out to me through comments to let me know that that 1861 sampler, it's called the 1861 Antique Sampler, which is this one right here. And it is in, in Friendship's Way, and this book is uh, available. Okay? Okay. As far as the giveaway, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add on a video at the end after we do the comment, uh, random comment generator picker or whatever. And I'll be picking a winner and adding that to the end. Okay, now, what have, what have I been working on? Well, after the passing of Barb, I've been very, um, I guess it's kind of cathartic, but I've been working on Blackbird kits that I have from retreats. 
or that I bought when I was at a retreat. So this particular one, it's called the Mon Petit Exemple. My kids are like, mom, don't do that. <laughs> don't try to act, don't try to talk in a different language. You, you can't do it. So anyway, aren't our kids our best critics? Critics, I think so. Anyway, it's a bag and um, you finish it with the silk ribbon drawstrings and I finished it. So I have this finish. This was actually a kit when I went for the Blackbird Retreat in 2019. I bought this kit at Country Sampler in Spring Green. And it came with the backing, or not the backing, this will be the inside of the, um, the bag. The linen, I have the piece of linen, I cut it off, but it goes on the back. So the back and the front will be linen. The inside will be this pretty fabric here. And then the ties will be that deep red silk ribbon. So that will be finished shortly. The next one, and there's a couple other th ones in, oh, I forgot to say that that is from the Ooh La La book. I'd also like to do this one. I love that. And there's a couple others. I've done Les Poulet. I'd like to do this one. This, I mean, I did this for my sister on a box. So there's quite a few other ones in the Ooh La La book that I'd like to do. And this is still available too. The next one that I finished is the drum. Oops. Well, I'm going to show you. The pattern we got at the retreat for the drum is called Garden Morning. And this, the next few projects I'm going to show you are in the Sewing Club book. It's this drum right here, I believe. Yes right here so I finished that and the bottom little part there is for the top of the drum and I also will have room to cut a, a cut a square <laughs> hard to put a square on the bottom of a circle <laughs> I think that's round is that um, square peg in a round hole <laughs> anyway there's sufficient there to cut the other circle for the bottom so this is the top this is the piece Hopefully you can see it perfectly in view. And it's really cute even just as is, would be cute framed or little pin pillow. That's done on velt, 36 count velt. Um, the colors, we got, you know, this, but they're basically what I call blackbird colors. You've got cinnabar, sanguine, dirt road, dolphin, so, um, and they are the same as in the book. So let me show you the book picture of the drum. There's a couple drums in this book. There's a couple other things I wanna definitely do in here. We need fill in music. And this one, it's called Garden Morning. Now she, they chose, is that the same one? No, that's not the same one. <laughs> okay, just a minute. I know it's in here, so it's just a matter of finding it. There it is. Garden Morning in the um, Sewing Club book. So 
So that is another one that's just waiting to be FFO, Garden Morning. So that's two finishes. And I had a third finish. This is also from a retreat. This one is from the retreat at um, the attic in 2019. I did not go to that one because my daughter was ill. But this one is called Willing Hands and I finished it. She works with Willing Hands in delight. You can see it. And that one is also in the Sewing Club book. It's on the front. And I also have the box. So what I will do is lace it with, a, oh, I'll probably use five or six layers of batting so it gets kind of a padded look on the top. And then uh, lace it to around a piece of foam core. And then I probably will just set it in there. I Boxes, I mean, paper mache boxes, I'm fine with gluing. A nice wood box like that, if I ever want to take it out, I don't, or just, I don't want glue marks. So if you, if you do it tight enough, it'll sit nice into that box. I was hoping to have these FFO'd, but it did not happen. I guess I was just kind of on a mission to, you know, after all the retreat things that I showed last time from Blackbird Retreats, I thought, you know, you have a lot of little kits. They're already kitted up. They were kitted up when you went to the retreat. So let's get on it. So I was hoping to have this one finished, which would have been my fourth finish, but I'm not quite done. Hopefully I can finish it tonight. And this one is called Summer Basket, and it's another bag. These bags are gonna be super easy to finish. Again, this one is in the um, Sewing Club book. This book is just chock full of ones that I want to do. Let me see if I can find it. I also wanna do this one. Hollyhocks were always there, it's a sewing Housewife. This part is like a little tiny skinny drum. So when it's finished, looks like that. How cute is that? How fun would that be to take to retreats with you? That would be like, looky me, looky me. <laughs> okay, here's the one I'm working on. Summer basket button bag. And there again, I'm almost finished. Hopefully I'll finish it tonight. So when I finish this one, that'll be four finishes since my last video, all Blackbird. You know, in Blackbird, some of these are smalls, but a lot of Blackbird pieces are pretty stitch heavy. But this is really fun. It's just cathartic stitching. I have a couple other things that are kitted from retreats. I didn't bring them out. I also have club pieces. Some of them are fall, some of them are patriotic. Um, I'm past wanting to stitch patriotic, that's just me. But um, another one that I wanna be working on, this was not a kit piece, I mean a retreat piece. But um, in our effort to enable each other, Brenda, I saw this on the her video. This is from Mary Ann Blackburn. I don't know if this is going to be reprinted or if it's out of print. I believe it's out of print. Here's another picture of the box. Do I have places in my house to set these boxes? No, I do not. <laughs> do I still want to do them and set them around? Yes, I do. <laughs> I guess I'll just stack them on one on top of the other. I don't know. I mean, when, I, when we bought this house, 30 years ago, my son, no, 31 years ago, my son was a newborn when we went to closing. I mean, like a week old. When we bought this house, I just thought it was huge. It was the biggest house. It's like 2,000 square feet. It's a typical ranch style house. It's not a salt box. I wish it was, but it's not. I thought it was huge. And then you live in it for 31 years. <laughs> like, was I just, you know, 
did I not have a proportionate eye or what? It's kind of like if you go back to your childhood home and you're like, gosh, I just thought this was huge. It's not that big. My daughter did something similar. She came over to my house one day and she goes, mom, I always thought we had a big kitchen. Your kitchen isn't that big. Cause hers now is huge. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, the kids, things kids say. Anyway, this Mary Ann Blackburn I have the box. I was always Johnny on the spot to buy the boxes. So I have the box. Of course it has to be painted. It has these little insets. Or one, I guess. No, two. So that'll be a, you know, project to finish all that. I'm sure there's other sizes of that box. So in order to get it to fit the box, you have to stitch it on 30 count with two strands. This was originally a kit. Because it was a loose feathers, it was a kit. I think the kit was actually, yeah, to make this box. There's also the sampler, but I don't think the loose, it was a loose feathers, 2013, Marianne Blackburn. Which I decided I need a Laura. <laughs> Laura is a savant in remembering cross-stitch book names, titles of cross-stitch pieces, names of thread. So, you know, if you ever have a memory lapse and you have a Laura, she'll tell you, oh, well, that's so-and-so. <laughs> because my memory lapses frequently. So anyway, this is gonna be a bite the bullet, but I really want that box, even though I have no place to put it. Okay, what's next? That's what I've been working on. That's one thing that I want to work on. I think I'm going to show haul. I don't have very much. I only have a couple things. But, and then I'm gonna talk on, talk about some fall whips, which I want to at least get to those first. A couple of them are Blackbird. And then go from there. So, um, I love to order. Let me see if I can do this. It's a free chart, but I will put a link. Victorian Rose Needle Arts Tinka is the lady's name, her first name, that runs Victorian Rose Needle Arts. She has a tremendous online store and she's really, she's opened a brick and mortar in Gainesville, which is hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half from Jacksonville. So a couple of friends, we're gonna make a trip down there one of these days, Tinka, we're gonna come see you. <laughs> anyway, um, she had gotten in some seraphim linens and I got a couple pieces one of which is antique lace that I show, thought I'd show you. Whoops, and that's upside down. It's, it's kind of a similar to Legacy by Picture This Plus. It's not as green as it looks there. It looks like it matches my walls and my walls are tan, so. I got a, also got a piece of uh, old parchment. I don't know what I did with it. I didn't bring it out. But anyway, she had recently gotten in some seraphim fabric. I also got three colors of Belsois. I didn't, I forgot to bring them, but it's only three colors. Because I'm in the Crazy Annie's Belsois Silk, Classic Color Works Belsois, which is the silk of Classic Color Works. Three colors because I'm in their monthly club. The other thing I got, I'm in um, Received. Audience. I don't know. <laughs> Ignore me. I just don't like to say what I got. I don't know. There's something about that word I don't like. <laughs> the other thing I received in the mail. I am in the X Jude Fat Half Club. She doesn't name these. They're just called Sampler Stitchers Fat Half Club Only Neutrals. You pay up front and then you get six month shipments, 
for six months. So I got this color and I really, really like it. Obviously it's a green. It would be a great color for a Christmas piece. But then I thought, which is dangerous, maybe I would like to use it for the infamous Anne Dale, 1827, Big and Beautiful. This is by Shakespeare Peddler. Um, Kindred Stitcher Lisa, is she's getting toward a finish on this. Anne Dale, Big and Beautiful, okay? Now, the linen that it calls for, and I even started it, and I can't remember if it's Pear or Vintage Pear by Lakeside. I have a 36 count and I started it on a 40 count. It's a very yellow green, which is not my favorite color, a yellow. Now, if I'm doing applique and I'm doing kind of a yellow green leaf on a quilt, that doesn't bother me. The other thing is the 36 count is a little more tan than the 40 count. Now I'd prefer to stitch it on 40 count. It would be bigger on 36 count. So if you're looking for something big and it's a lot of stitches, so maybe 36 count would be easy. I don't know. But then I thought, well, maybe I would want to do it on this. It's way different. I don't know. It's, it's just a passing thought through my brain. These are the colors of Andale. So you've got to have something that's going to show up these neutrals, creamy tans. Because when I started it on 40 count, there's a few flowers, see right here, right there, that you can't even see. They don't even show up. Now, I don't mind a ghost alphabet occasionally. I don't mind a ghost anything, but when there's flowers through the whole thing and they're not going to show up, mm, I don't know about that. So now there's also a kind of a tealy color in here. I don't know that that's going to show up on that. So anyway, I want to start Ann Dale, even if it's just for my um, sampler September, I'm leaning toward leaning towards starting it on the 36. But this was just a passing thought since I had just gotten that in the mail. I thought, hmm, wonder how that would look on there. We'll see. And Dale is by Shakespeare's Peddler. You can get it from Kitten Stitcher and I think a couple other sites have it. But for sure, it's um, Teresa's reproduction, so she has it on the fitness pictures. Okay, now I'm going to talk a little bit about fall. Slash Halloween. I'm going to start out by talking about a few of my whips. And then I'll mention a few things that I want to stitch. There's no way I'm going to get all these done. This is just for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna include whips with one a stitch because it's too hard to separate all these out. From the Winds of Autumn book, I said before, I want to stitch October 31st. I want to stitch this on some sort of grayish linen. Let me see what it calls for. A friend of mine did this Mighty Acorns. It's gorgeous. Just a second. I already did that one. I showed it last time. Waiting for the harvest, I did it in kind of a gold color. 
I also have this kitted. I'll show you that in a second. That was a dime to stitch club piece from Blackbird. That's very stitch heavy with that border. Here's another picture of it. That one's called Patchwork Pumpkin. Um, this one, First Winds of Autumn, the giant strawberry. And I have that completely kitted. That was also a dying to stitch club. Different times, different designers have been part of the dying to stitch clubs. And this is when Blackbird was still in the club. So that one. Here's that bittersweet lane that I just showed you. It's very stitch heavy with that border. So I have that kitted. Here's a whip. Some of these I started last year. And then when I got to a point where it's like, okay, now I'm ready for Christmas stitching or sampler stitching or whatever, I put them away. So when I got them out this year, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. About this is bad. This is really bad. He started saying, oh yeah, I forgot about that. It's like a lost child, you know? Oh, I forgot. I also had you. <laughs> I only have two kids, so I, I would not ever forget my children. <laughs> Nor would they let me. <laughs> so anyway, I started this one. This is a drum called Kindred Spirits by Blackbird. And I've started this one. And it also has the finishing fabric for the top and bottom. Although I do have a piece of um, the sampler fabric in black, so I might, I might use that. And even though this looks like it's all one color, it actually has four colors. So as soon as I finish what I'm working on, I'm thinking this is, it's, it's a, um, It'll be a quick stitch, so it would be a good one to get finished. Kindred Spirits by Blackbird. Whip. And then I want to do that um, October 31st. I don't, I don't know if this one, Kindred, I don't know if that's in this book or not. It's not featured in the pictures on the front. I don't think it is. There's that October 31st. It's supposed to go on 32 count tombstone by r and R. I don't know if that color is even still around. I don't see that kindred spirits drum in this book. But there's plenty of other wonderful things in here to stitch. And the other thing that I want to finish, and there again, this is on 30 count, but it has to be, and that's the casting a spell box. You can go to Hobby Lobby. These boxes are available. In fact, I ordered a second one, which is in it, on its way, because there's another older, older Blackbird that uses the same box. And I actually set something on it. I broke the glass, which was, it's kind of a plasticky glass. I broke that out of there, but I, I'm kind of okay with that. Um, or I'll use the one with the glass for this one. I don't know. I mean, you're not gonna have this out all year long. I mean, maybe you would, but I don't think I would. Anyway, casting a spell, the box is again available from Hobby Lobby. And let me see, I can. The box is 648196 Hobby Lobby box. And this chart has also been re released. So you can stitch this and make this box. Won't your family be so proud of you? <laughs> 
I have this huge piece of Confederate gray. I don't, it's a fat half. I don't know what I'm thinking, but anyway, I have a little bit of it started. I have, this is kind of the most stitch heavy one. And then I have this and this. So this will be the next thing after that Kindred Spirits drum that I will be stitching and FFOing because I love this piece. Project bag made by me, October 31st. I just thought that was so cute. So anyway, this is local radar here in Jacksonville. <laughs> Trying to put things back a little bit so I don't get crazy, crazy. The next one I'm a little ashamed of. <laughs> a friend gave me this for my birthday years ago. Have I stitched it? No. If she's watching, I'm going to deny it. And even in a court of law, I will deny. I'll say I stitched it already and this is the second one. <sighs> Not really. This one is called Raven Bewitched. It's really cool. I don't know if this is available. I have no idea. She gave me a kit, or she gave it to me kitted. These are the wonderful colors. I like how people kind of twist it so that you get a good representation of the colors. There's purples. They're just dark and dirty. The fabric, I think it's 36 count and it's a fairly light fabric. I don't know. I like the dark fabric, but on the other hand, it would show up a lot on this creamier fabric. What does it actually call for, you ask? Old Mill Java, which is lighter. So that may be what it, even though the picture looks a little deceiving, that may be. I have a friend that makes these for $10 a piece. Aren't they just adorable? Look at that. So cute. Look at the little. I'll ask her, but if she's interested in making these to sell, well, she sells them to her friends, but I will, I will get a name out there, but I need to ask her first. How adorable is that? She sells them at a local store here, but I don't know that she's into making hundreds of them, so. Well, those are a couple Blackbird fall Halloween-ish pieces. And then I have this whip that I started last year. And I love this by Work Basket Quaker Crow. I actually thought it was further along. <laughs> Isn't that how it always is? It's like... <sighs> but anyway, I have the crow head. This is on 36 count sand dune by Lakeside. And I'm using the Novera Noir. Noir. Nor. <laughs> I think that's Noir, but there again. Mom, don't do that. Quaker Crow, work basket. It called for straw. Sand dune to me is a little more tan than straw, straw, weak straw fabric is a little more gold, but I think it works on that. Okay, now we're just gonna flash things that I really would like to stitch. It's like, what is your deal, Carol? Stitch faster, stitch faster. I need, I need like somebody to come in and cheer me every night, you know, stitch faster, stitch faster. Not really, I'd kick them out pretty soon because it would drive me nuts. This is Witch's Brew by Brenda Gervais. This came out last year, 2020. And I have it all kitted. Look at this cute. I'm not sure where I got this thread drop, but I didn't, I just put it as a, it's a witch's hat. 
the scene. Somebody gave me this at a retreat. What does it say, you ask? It says, All Hallows Eve. I don't generally use thread drops. I should, but I don't. I just put stuff in it. It's a combination of DMC and some some over dyed cottons. I have a piece of Dixie sampler fabric. I think it's called Lichen, L-I-C-H-E-N. Not sure, but she sells on um, Facebook, Dixie sampler. But it's just a light gray, so any light gray would work. So that's a wanna stitch. I have three Scarlet House pieces that I'd like to stitch. Oh no, I lied. This is the one that's on Lichen. 40 count. I don't know what that other one was. And this is Fall Frolic by the Scarlet House. I just think that's adorable. It calls for uh, da, 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 cedar plank and this is similar to cedar plank so and this one actually I have plenty of fabric Dixie sampler lichen that I could do that October 31st on this so that might work and what am I going to show you next time if here it is July and I'm showing you fall stuff this is pumpkins and bittersweet. I think this is adorable. There is some over one there, but it's okay. And this was stitched on vintage meadow rue, and that's what I have it kitted with. Sorry for the glare. Pumpkins and bittersweet by Scarlet House. The other thing I keep thinking is, okay, you have almost four pieces done Blackbird Smalls in two weeks. So if you get started on some of these, at least you could get two done in two weeks. I mean, that's my thinking. Maybe I'm way off. I don't know. Some of the more stitch heavy ones I couldn't, but um, this is Pumpkin Pumpkin by Scarlet House. This is actually done on over, this is actually done on um, 28 count legacy from Picture This Plus. So this is done over one. It's five and a half by three and a quarter on 28 count. So on 40 count, it's, it would probably be more like, the most four and a half by eight five by eight so that would still be a cute little piece might be a little big for a pillow but it would be cute framed and I have that kitted I have it kitted with a piece of fresco 40 count fresco from picture this plus which is it's very similar to the color legacy by picture this plus Okay, I'm gonna show you a few more. I'm gonna show you a couple wool pieces and then I'll be done. Every time I finish a video, I go, Phew, now, it's, now it's Brendan Laura's turn next. <laughs> it's not stressful. It's just, um, I guess I'm always worried something's gonna go wrong, like the camera angle last time. And then I get like, Oh, why do I even do these? <laughs> I showed you this a while ago when I got this piece from Xjude. You know, this, did I say it was from Xjude? I hope. This piece that I got is part of that club. This one may be my last one. I don't know. But this Ruby Owl sampler. I love that. And I'd like to do that on this, which is part of that sampler club, so it doesn't have a name, but it's a very cinnamon 
color without being too blatantly orange, orange, orange. Um, this one I have kitted. Surprise, surprise. And I have this one kitted with NPI, so this one I at least need to get a start. This one, I could actually stitch on this in September because it's kind of a sampler. I have it kitted with 40 count thrift store britches, which is one of Teresa Kitten Stitcher's hand dyed pieces. I don't know if her son is still dying since he moved. I don't know. And that is Carriage House, or is it Kathy Barrick? No, this one's Kathy Barrick. And that is Autumn on Lazy Bear Mountain. And I have it kitted with the NPI silks. That would just be a fun one to start. It's got a pretty hefty border. I mean, not hard, but not just in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> Those are easy borders. Up four, across two, down four. Across two, up four. <sighs> Since I like to do the borders first. Just me. Some people don't even like to do borders. Here's another whip that I started last year. I saw that this is somebody's um, um, unicorn. I, I didn't know this was out of print. It's actually not out of the bag yet. Anyway, this one is Pumpkin Season. And this is by Exampler from The Heart, Vilma Becklin. Scary, friendly, sweet, and silly. All these pumpkins are a dilly. I love this. It's on a pretty light linen because a lot of this is kind of full coverage-ish. So I started it on a lighter linen. When I say lighter to me, I mean more creamy. And this is what I've gotten done so far. So look at me, I'm working on a house before I have the border finished. I just love this. And again, I'm stitching this one with NPI silks. So that is definitely one that I want to get back to. I really like that. Let's see, once, I don't know, middle of October, then I'm done. I'm ready to stitch Christmas. The problem is I have a lot of Christmas party stitch, so. This is another one, this is Fall's Gifts. I think this, it either came out, I know I bought it last year, but I don't know when it came out. False Gifts by Carriage House. And this one I have kitted with Coco and the NPIs. They show it on black, but I decided I wanted to do it on Coco. Black would be pretty too, but black's hard to stitch on. And even the Coco will be a little bit hard to stitch on, but it does help if you put a piece of white paper or a piece of white fabric or white pajamas, <laughs> whatever, so that you have white kind of coming through on your, I think that's really cute, carriage house, fall gifts. This one is not kitted. This is by Kathy Barrick. And this one is called October 31st. I think that basket is just wonderful. This one actually, again, calls for NPIs. I don't have it kitted and it calls for, it's only 97 by 86, so it's not huge. Creme Brulee from r and which is a fairly light tannish. Here's another one. I know I got this one last year too, Jack's Urn. This one again on 40 counts, only seven and a quarter by six, so about seven by seven. I love that. I know I got that last year, and that's by Kathy Barrick. 
This one's by Carriage House. Love that. All that rickrack looking stitching. And this one's only 115 stitches by 116, so on 40 counts, only going to be five and three quarters by five and three quarters. Love that frame. That's a Hog River frame. Nope. Valley House Primitives. Oh, <laughs> at the very end here, I have another part of my haul. I got this. This is part of the Historical Girls Sampler Club from Country Sampler. I won't pick this up for a while because it is patriotic and I'm kind of out of that mood, but beautiful colors, beautiful linens, silk ribbon, love it. Let's see if there's anything else in my little bag of tricks. <coughs> I didn't put any more stitches and I showed you these last time. Come into my garden. This is the one that I'm going to put Barb's name and her birth year and year of her, this year of her passing. And then Little Birds. I haven't done any more on them, but they are two of my other whips that are Blackbird. This is Little Birds. I showed this last time. This is a repeat or rerun, whatever. I don't have very much done. I think that one's on Heartland. And then this is coming to my garden. And this one I haven't done any more on either. I've been working on those smalls. And this one is on Velt. No. Legacy, maybe. If I picture this plus. I do have the border done. And that is the accumulation of what I'm stitching and what I want to stitch, going to stitch, would like to stitch, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to show you two other things. Um, one is a finish, but not really an FFO. My wool piece, this is Strawberry Thief by Maggie Benonomy. I finished this. I am not sure how I'm going, what I'm going to put on the back. Can you see it all? I can't see what you're seeing. Strawberry Thief, Maggie Benonomy. This is one of her wool kits. The wools come from Blackberry Primitives. You see it? And it's finished. What I think I would like to do, not sure, what I think I would like to do is put a piece of ticking, black and white striped ticking, that I've severely over dyed with writ dye. So in other words, it's gonna look like brown with black stripes or light, medium brown with black stripes. And then to finish it, what I will do, I will leave the raw edge on the wool turn under an edge on the ticking, and then just either blanket stitch or whip stitch together. Where I will put it, I have no idea. None. I'm moving some of my, some of these Blackbird, if, if and when I get some other stuff framed. I'm, I have two Blackbird pieces here. Whoops. One is all the way at the top, you can't see it. That's um, Hannah Lavinia. And then the other one is that 1861 sampler. And I'm going all the way to the wall in my sewing room, which I had it clean and now it's a mess again. But I, I still have it in my brain that I wanna um, do a little tour. It's a small room and it's jam packed. <laughs> Any kind of needle art you want, except knitting. Or really embroidery. The only other thing I want to show you, and this is um, the wool four-part season. This one, oops, that's what you're doing, Carol. You got stuff falling. This is the four-part series. This is the spring has sprung. This is the next one I'll be working on, and. This is dangerous because I have it pinned. Hopefully I'll get back to this soon. And then I have the 
the um, patriotic one that I haven't touched yet. But this is the next one. There's a lot of extra things, you know, in the middle of the flowers, all these little berries, wings, and those I have in all my pieces. So I don't pin all that on. When I first do it, I pin enough that I can start stitching. So no wings on the birds, all of that. And really at that point, I'm just pinning for placement and to try to stick myself with the pins. <laughs> um, that is all I have. Like I said, I did finish some quilts. Um, that I'd been working on for me to actually get them on my machine, quilt them and bind them. It's a feat, amazing feat, because I don't, right now I have 17 quilts <laughs> to do. Now, some of the people are like, I don't need it till October. I don't care when you get it done. But sometimes that messes with your head because then you're like, hmm, I need to take a day off today because <laughs> some of those aren't, they're not gonna be looking for it for a while. And I need to just, I think I did three this week, so I need to get on that. Anyway, um, that's all I have. Um, if I think we've done the random comment generator picker before, but it will be based on the comments from video number 49, which is um, the last video I did. To, this one's 50, and it was based on the keyword summer. So as soon as this video is over, I am going to do that, and then I will insert a picture of the winner. The winner, if you'll contact me on my um, Gmail mail, and we'll put that in the drop-down box, then you can give me your address and I can send you the Blackbird design. Sweet summer, come again. This is another one I need to do, and that roll, love that. It's just easy to pick up ones that I've already kitted. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. And I will see you in two weeks. And we'll see what I get done. Love you. Bye.